Welcome back. Our first canine guest today is uh, Shelby number one. We have two Shelbys and three buddies in the shelter, and that is pretty common because uh, we don't change the names of the pets that come in already named, and dogs don't care if you change their name. They don't mind a bit, and they learn a new name very quickly. Um, sometimes it's a good idea to change their name because their name might be sad for them. We don't know. Um, but when they come into the shelter, we keep their name the same if, in case they're used to it. And then that way, when you adopt, um, you can change it if you would like to. Now, the way to change a dog's name is, let's say you wanted to call her Maggie. You would call her Maggie Shelby for a week and pretty soon you would notice whenever you say Maggie, she knows you're about to say Shelby and she pays attention then you can drop the Shelby. So um, Shelby is obviously a beautiful Weimaraner. Uh, she came to us uh, secondhand. Her, uh, someone in the family is allergic to her, and so they gave her up. She is five years old, and uh, she is a spayed female. And um, one of the things that they told us is that, um, are you okay, honey? She got uh, a treat caught in her throat, is that, um, they crate trained her as a puppy and she really doesn't like the crate. So there are two ways that you could handle that. Number one is, since she has good house manners, you may not need a crate. But I would recommend considering re-crate training her because dogs in the course of their lives will have to go to the vet sometimes and stay in a cage. They might have to, um, if you ever had a bad storm and went to um, a shelter, <laughs> You might have to, um, she knows what's in Randy's pocket. Um, you might have to take her to uh, a hotel overnight for a bad storm and she would have to stay in a crate. So I think it's a really good idea to teach all dogs that uh, crates are okay, even if you're not gonna use it long term. And the way that you would do it is you would feed her in there for a couple of days with the door open and then you would put her in there for short three to five minute periods, five times a day for no reason until the crate does not signify that you're leaving. The reason that dogs don't like the crate is very obvious. It's small and closed and they want to get out. But the secondary reason that they get an emotional rejection of the crate is that people put them in the crate only when they're going to bed or leaving. And so dogs learn very quickly that the crate means separation from you. And that is the one thing that dogs don't want, especially the sporting breeds. These gun dogs are bred to be with a hunter all day, to do his bidding all day, to jump in icy cold water, to bring back dead ducks, to walk through tall grass, all of that for you. Um, so they do suffer when they're away from you um, because they were meant to be um, a partner. I don't know if you can tell um, on the video, but Shelby could uh, stand to lose about 10 or 12 pounds. Um, it would make her feel better, um, probably true for me too, um, but that's something that uh, you can help her with um, so that uh, she can have that advantage. She's not having any health problems from her weight. Dogs don't get uh, cholesterol plaques like people do, so um, it's not a big urgent problem, but you know, just be a nice thing that you could do for her. Um, you can see how much she likes food, so um, she definitely um, enjoys it. And that's probably part of how she got this way because she's a cute girl and she's a good convincer. <laughs>